Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at my custom mock soldiers fort that I have recently finished construction on. And I will be showing you guys all the ins and outs of that. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, etc. And we'll be getting down to it right after my intro coming in now. Here is the original Lego Soldiers Fort back from uh, the 2009 wave that I based uh, my mock on. Because this is one of the few Lego pirate sets that I do not own that I've always kind of had my eye on. So I thought this would be a good chance to not go and buy it but maybe build one that I was a little bit more satisfied with because while the original one is cool and all it, it also feels a little bit incomplete especially for some of the prices that they are asking for it on the aftermarket so I thought it'd be more fun to maybe try to build one myself as you see these doors open here and this little section here is actually a, an old 90s pirate set from like 95 96 uh, range that actually incorporated into this mock but uh, I tried to keep the spirit of the original set uh, like this uh, little jail section all while building something kind of unique and interesting to me and a little something a little bit more grand and uh, like this little this building section here is pretty much identical to the original set maybe a couple of minor changes but not a ton but it's really this middle section here where a lot of my creativity and design came into play and uh, as well as the the jail cell itself I kind of redesigned it all while keeping some of the original ideas intact but this uh, this is kind of the first of a few kind of fun builds that I have coming up here on my channel and uh, this actually opens up which that was the way it is on the original set so I decided to keep that play feature but uh, anyways, I have bought, gone back and bought most of the original sets that I want to get. Not all of them, but a lot of them. But some of the smaller ones are that they kind of go for ridiculously high prices on the aftermarket. I've kind of decided that instead of going and buying the official set, go and get a lot of the pieces and try to build one yourself or build something similar enough to it that you feel like you have it but but yet it's your own unique creation and and so that's kind of some of the ideas that I'm going with uh, going forward and this was one of the first ones that we're kind of going over that I've kind of decided to do that with and I'm, I'm really satisfied with the end result like I said, I feel like I have the original set now, but it is much more grand. And it actually feels more like a showpiece where the original one just feels like a little little Lego set. Where this actually feels kind of like a mock. Well, not kind of, it is a mock, but you know what I mean. You see that goes up and down. And then here is where it is going to live within my display and you can see the Imperial Trading Post out in front of it. This was uh, kind of where I decided that it's going to go. I think it looks pretty good here. Kind of uh, help protecting the castle and the red coat section to my uh, layout. Because that was part of my thinking is I needed a little bit more, uh, they needed a little bit more of a boost in this section. And here's where that uh, that little 
pirate set was originally I had it attached to this one as you can see there's dust there and you clean that out clean it up then here's a uh, just more view of a uh, my uh, layout here but I think it turned out rather well and I'm quite proud of it I think it I think it looks good I I think it helps add to the to the layout, giving it a little bit more of a grand feel and a little bit more originality. I think it's a uh, it's important to uh, mix in mocks and mods with official Lego sets and to kind of help create your full vision. And I fully admit I'm not the greatest mocker in the world, so I'm, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the end result on this one. I even think it looks pretty good from the back. But anyways, there it is, my uh, new soldier's fort. And let me just say, if you guys like this video or any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more content coming on Mikey J Productions. And you guys have a great day, and I'll be seeing you guys all again later. Uh, take care, everybody.